Hello and welcome to the Atoll, your home for Waterworld fandom. In today's video, we're going to change gears a little bit and dive into a bit of Waterworld collecting history and take a look at a very specific collection I've recently completed. I'm calling this collection Waterworld's Video Store Promo Collection. But let's start at the beginning. Several months ago, I acquired this intriguing VHS tape of Waterworld. As you'll immediately notice, the VHS sleeve is unlike any other Waterworld home release with its simple ocean surface background. At the bottom of the front cover, it is actually pointed out that this is not the final video sleeve artwork. The front of the VHS sleeve also boasts the most anticipated movie of 1995 is now the hottest video release of the new year. We are informed that this is a full-length screening cassette which includes a promotional trailer. We are also told that the video comes to us compliments of our local video sales rep and that this is a video that is not for sale or rental, so shout out to the eBayer that sold this to me. It appears that this is a screener video specifically for video rental store owners so that they can judge if they want to purchase and rent Waterworld videos in their stores. Taking a look at the backside of the video sleeve, we encounter the statement, a $90 million success, but there is an asterisk, which informs us that this number is actually the projected total domestic theatrical gross, which in reality was around $88 million, so pretty close. The back of the sleeve shows us the stars of the film in descending font size, and a brief description of the film. We are also told to watch the screener for exciting marketing details about Waterworld. Hmm, that's interesting. I wonder what we'll learn from that. But before leaving the sleeve and watching the tape, check out how much video cassettes and laserdiscs cost to purchase. 45 US dollars, which is over $75 adjusted for inflation. Well, this was actually part of the early 90s business model in place for video rental stores. The rental stores would buy tapes from the studios for a high rate and attain the right for an unlimited amount of rentals. In exchange, the studios would not make the home videos purchasable to consumers for several months after the rental store release. This is why video stores were so popular. If you wanted to see a new release, you had to rent it. However, in 1997, with the debut of DVDs, the studios changed the model, allowing movies to be available at a low cost to consumers and renters on the same day of release. This change probably marks the beginning of the end for the glory days of the video rental stores, a bit of history I was not aware of before researching this video. But now, let's pop in this VHS and see what hidden treasures are contained on its magnetic tape. The video gives us the theatrical Waterworld trailer that we're all familiar with and which has been bonus content on every DVD release. But, as stated on the sleeve, we are presented with an action-packed marketing advertisement giving us a rundown of why we should purchase our Waterworld rental tapes and some enticing promotional giveaways to sweeten the deal. Since this video clip is nowhere currently on the internet, I'm going to let the entire advertisement play here. The most anticipated film of the year, starring one of the biggest box office heroes in the world. An epic action adventure like you've never seen. MCA Universal Home Video proudly presents Kevin Costner, Gene Triplehorn, Tina Majorino, and Dennis Hopper in... Waterworld. This extraordinary film debuted in theaters this summer as the number one box office attraction, grossing over $21 million in its opening weekend alone, then kept right on sailing to become a $90 million box office smash. And when it lands in video stores this January, it's going to make an even bigger splash. Consumer awareness for this film is so high it practically screams success. With its groundbreaking special effects, futuristic story, and non-stop action, Waterworld is truly a once-in-a-lifetime movie event. The exotic quality of Waterworld and the action is uh, something that reminds me of what it is I like about movies. This is so Cecil B. DeMille. It was so huge. Huge is right. The making of this epic film was no less than an epic adventure itself, complete with situations that had never been faced before on a movie set. 
this is the largest uh, floating articulated structure in the world. When you're on the water, shots that you take for granted on dry land where you can just put a camera up and you can put people in front of the camera and film it, you can't do that in the open ocean. We had tsunami warnings, we had hurricanes coming in, we had to evacuate the set. This is movie making like I always heard about. Waterworld is filled with elaborate sets and costumes, as well as fascinating characters, both human and non-human. The boat had to become a character. Um, we wanted it to have a Swiss Family Robinson feel, we needed a guy who was, lived his whole life on it, could merely move around and touch levers, and, and up he would go, and down he would go, and forward, and, and in fact, those are some of the resourceful things that he uses um, when he's in trouble. Coolest place ever. And you want to talk about stunts. Today we're doing a very tricky shot. We've got a camera helicopter flying in very close formation with the seaplane. Below we have four water skiers skiing at about 75 miles an hour. And star Kevin Costner even did his own stunts. Come here for a second. I, I started right here and slid all the way down to the very end. you'll receive a treasure chest of merchandise. A unique fossil-style Waterworld watch in a custom wooden gift case. A high-quality four-button embroidered Henley shirt with a Waterworld logo. A two-by-five-foot Waterworld vinyl banner. And, to encourage sales of previously viewed cassettes, four self-adhesive poster and standee stickers and 12 product stickers. Total estimated value of this package is over $100. In addition, a massive post-street cable and spot TV campaign will encourage consumers to ask about the availability of previously viewed cassettes. So get ready for the hottest, wettest, most action-packed movie event of the year, because Waterworld is coming. Hurry up! And it's taking no prisoners. Did I say anybody can leave before the battle is over, did I? Kevin Costner. Gene Triplehorn. Tina Majorino. And Dennis Hopper. Waterworld on video cassette and laser disc from MCA Universal Home Video coming January 23rd, 1996. So those are the marketing details we are given. The rest of the tape is the entire theatrical release of Waterworld, so this is a true screener video. You may already be familiar with some of the footage used in this marketing promo video. This is because some of it is repurposed footage from Dances with Waves, an archival featurette that captures the film's production. The first time I experienced watching Dances with Waves was this past year with the Arrow Blu-ray release of the film, which made the full featurette available to fans for the first time. The rest of the marketing promo video lays out the incentives for purchasing a quantity of Waterworld videotapes for your video rental store. The POP package includes things like a floor standee which I do not own but I've seen pop up on eBay from time to time. However, I would like to focus on the main contents of the prepackaged purchase offer that comes with the sale of a 12 pack of rentable videotapes. And indeed, I have now collected all three promotional giveaways for this video store promo. So let's take a look at each one, starting with the four button Henley shirt. If you're like me, you may not be exactly sure what a Henley shirt is, but all it really is is a collarless pullover shirt with a round neckline and two to five buttons running down a front opening. And like the advertisement states, the shirt seems to be indeed very high quality with a sort of ribbed texture to the cloth. And the tan color I believe really matches the overall aesthetic of Waterworld, so I approve. 
The inside tag is emblazoned with the MCA Universal Home Videos logo, which I feel gives this product a very legitimate feel. On the flip side of the tag, we learn that the shirt is 100% cotton, there's some instructions for washing, and this interesting statement, one size fits all. I have to say my Henley shirt feels a little large on me, like an extra large. I usually wear a medium. And perhaps this is just how Universal decided to distribute a promotional shirt without having to have specific sizes? Or maybe this is just how everyone dressed in the 90s. But at last, let's look at the embroidered Waterworld logo on the breast of the shirt. And I have to say I love this simplified logo version of Enola's tattoo. It's actually the main reason I picked up this item. It just does a nice job of distilling down the on-screen tattoo into a clean logo. I've been thinking about getting a Waterworld tattoo myself and I think I might get it of this logo. Let me know in the comments if you think I should get this tattooed. Below the logo is the Waterworld in brown lettering and I I have to say, everything about this is very classy. I really love this Henley shirt, and I'm glad it's part of my collection. Up next is the fossil style watch in the custom wooden gift case. Let's start with the box, which has the word Waterworld decorating the top lid. Popping open the lid, we are welcomed with a very handsomely displayed watch, which is held in place with a piece of cardboard printed with a world map on it. Not exactly Waterworldy, but I get the idea, I suppose. Taking the watch out of the box, we can see that it has a real genuine leather wristband on it, which I think would break in very nicely if I started wearing it. Looking at the watch face itself, I have to say the designers of this product really nailed it. In the center is a netted pattern which is just so darn Waterworld, as well as the arrow and mountains from Enola's tattoo pointing towards 12 o'clock. The digits and markings around the outside of the watch face also seem very in line with the Waterworld aesthetic. On the flip side of the watch, Waterworld is actually engraved into the back, a nice touch I was not expecting. At the very bottom of the box, we find a watch warranty certificate by Did You Know Watches and Details Watches and Accessories. So this isn't actually a fossil watch, but the quality still seems really good for a giveaway product. In fact, I would have to say this watch is an absolute must for any hardcore Waterworld collector. Moving on to the final product in this VHS promo giveaway is the canvas banner. I have it displayed here on a wall in my apartment because it is far too large to fit on the usual blue background. In fact, this banner is a lot larger than I was expecting it to be. But I gotta say, with it being very large, there's a ton of detail that can fit in. The banner itself is constructed of a very thin canvas and actually feels kind of fragile. It's also very plasticky smelling, in fact it's kind of stinking up this entire room. But the actual design of the banner is pretty epic. We have the Mariner, Helen, and Enola bordering the edges with what looks like atoll gates behind them. In the center of the banner, it displays the star and title of the film along with a collage of pure action taking place in the atoll. We have smoker jet skis, the trimaran, the hellfire gunner boat, hey even the smoker sky boat makes an appearance here. All in all, the canvas banner is very impressive, but to tell the truth, it is a little too large and distracting as a home decoration, even for a diehard fan like myself. Still, I'm very happy to have it in my collection, but I would have to say it's not necessary for every Waterworld collection. So there you have it, that is a look at my Waterworld Video Store promo collection. It was actually pretty interesting finding the promotional tape and learning the origins of the Waterworld watch and Henley shirt, which I had always assumed were from a Universal Studios gift shop. Well anyway, if you enjoyed this video let me know in the comments below. I hope to do more of these collecting videos in the future to break up the deep dives. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing, it's a great way to show your support for the channel. And thanks, as always, for joining me at the Atoll.